We've travelled up north to Churton Engineering. Now, this company only a few years ago was turning over just over three million pounds. Now, they're up to over nine million pounds. So I'm gonna head on inside, speak to Darren and find out how. Churton Engineering are a subcontract machine shop company based in the northeast of England. We have been going since 2003. We were acquired by the Cars Group in 2014, and I personally have been at the business since 2016. I cannot wait to get into that machine shop. But before we do, tell me what's changed over the years. I mean, the building and everything looks so grand. It looks incredible. But what? how have you turned this company around? We applied some general engineering principles. Uh, myself and my team have been in this industry for the last 35 years, so we've got a pretty good idea of what works and what doesn't work. And we set about three years ago, turning the business around. And to do that, we implemented a lot of, like I say, basic techniques, but also we brought in some consultants to do some 5S work. Okay, so what is your 5S work? What does that mean? 5S is actually, it's a concept that a lot of people mistake thinking originated from Japan, but it was the original idea came from Henry Ford. And it, the 5S stands for sort, set in order, shine, standardize, and sustain. What you are doing is literally eliminating any waste that you have within a business. Now that can be time waste, it can be physical waste, it can be anything that makes you m unproductive. Okay, and so how are you doing that? We uh, started off by having a, a complete overhaul of our shop floor. So the, I think by the time we had finished, there were only two machines that hadn't been moved. So the, the shop floor has a, a lot more flow about it now. And we also set about eliminating a lot of the time wastes that the guys on machine had. That's looking for um, tooling, mandrels, any equipment that they need for a job. What we need to do is place that equipment exactly where the guys can find it um, and pass those savings on to our customers. Right, let's stop talking up here and let's go and see the shop floor. Not a problem. Before we take a walk around this incredible engineering workshop, in my years of doing this so far, I have never been to a workshop that have done safety shoes for girls with heels. This is amazing. Well, we'll try to think of everything in here, Lindsay. You absolutely do. I'm, you made a lady very happy today, just so you know. Right, talking about investment in shoes, you've got the right shoes, but machines. Yeah, we are in a very fortunate position in that we are owned by a PLC and they have continued to support Churton Engineering with investment over the last three to four years. Yeah. As you can see, we're walking through really some of the top end machines here, Lindsay. Yeah, you have. Where the machine behind you is a DMF 180. That is a five axis milling machine. And that was purchased probably about 18 months ago. And that added to the capabilities we have on this section. You've got some Doosans, you've got some Mazaks as well. Yeah, we only look to invest in the very best machine tools now. We, the work that we're bringing in is really quite complex, high quality, high value, and we need the best machines to be doing that on. And you need the right inspection equipment too. We most certainly do, yes. Yeah, and you're working with Mitutoyo. I mean, you've got five Mitutoyo, uh, four Mitutoyos. We have, yes. And as you can see, one of the machines that we've just purchased has made way to move this one onto the shop floor. This allows guys on the shop floor to do their first offs which creates time and inspection for other parts to go through. It's amazing. It's all about that lean manufacturing. Now, I mean, just look over here. Look how tidy this area is. Like, how are you doing this? This is all part of the, the 5S project that we are doing. And it's all based around uh, eliminating the waste from the, the daily lives of the guys on the shop floor. So any time that they are wasting, looking for tooling, looking for jigs, looking for fixtures, 
we have to make sure that anything that those guys want is easily at hand and can be easily found. And is that what is that doing to you in a monetary way, you know? That's making us a lot more cost effective and that means that we can pass those cost savings on to our customers. Now you might be blown away with the idea of lean manufacturing. So Mark over here has been tasked with the task of explaining to us what it is. So, I mean, this looks quite complex. Can you explain this to us? So very, very briefly, uh, we take a very structured approach to uh, diagnose a business. Um, so really we're looking at some key elements. One of the first key elements is just to try and understand what kind of mix or uh, quantity of products are coming through. So by type, um, by sector, etc. Just to try and understand what the funnel is, what the sales funnel is, so we can really optimise that. Do we need to look at diversification, which we we'll have done on, on in Chirton's um, um, side, but very much just understand what it, what is the common ground, what where we're actually at at the moment. The next key element is really just trying to diagnose where we are from a key performance indicator perspective. So again, to, we, we need to understand where the opportunities lie. So we very much start off with um, a safety, quality, cost, delivery, people, and 5S perspective. And who are you working within, within the company to sort through this? I work from the very top to the, to the, to the value add to the guys that actually make the money. So I work with uh, the Darren and the senior management team so they understand the strategy and the direction we need to go at. And that to flows get the then down. Uh, very, very important. So the most important people actually are the guys on the shop floor that make the money. Okay. Uh, they, they, if, if really everything that you see here is all directed towards spindles. Oh, I see. So you're kind of giving everyone more ownership. Exactly. So yes, they yes. are part of the company, and so they're understanding the direction of the company. Yes, and they understand if a spindle's idle, they now understand that the impact on the potential revenue of the company or profit and loss sheets, etc. So everything that you see here is very, very much directed at the guys on the shop floor. And how do they use that information? What are they using that on? Well, we, we very much measure and feed back to the guys uh, on a regular basis. So this is very high level KPIs from a directional perspective. Yep. The guys on the shop floor have performance boards that we use on a daily, weekly basis. So it's very much short interval control. So if I have any safety quality issues, any cost issues, any kind of issues, it's a two way communication between the guys that make the money on the spindles and the guys that are actually supervisors on the shop floor. So it's a very open and honest yeah, uh, I feel like that. Sometimes communication is a bit of a problem within a company. And I think you're certainly hitting the nail on the head there. That's the famous Ryan Warns, who was on one of our social media posts. I saw it. It was on LinkedIn, wasn't it? He was, yes. Uh, Ryan was released by a, a, a competitor of ours more part way through the first year of his apprenticeship and we were contacted by Ryan's training provider so we decided to bring him in, give him a month's trial and to be honest, Ryan's been fantastic since Sorry then. Darren, I, I'm going to go speak to Ryan. Not a problem, Lizzie. <laughs> So, Ryan, th uh, you're kind of famous now because you're on LinkedIn. You've got that many likes and comments on your posts. I, well, I don't know really what to say about it. I didn't really expect to get that many likes, to be honest with you. So well, that's I think quite you shocked. deserve it. I think oh, you do. You. <laughs> Are you enjoying working at Churton? Oh, yeah, I love Churton. Um, I've been here for two months now, and to be honest with you, I've learned more in the past two months than I have the past uh, year, my previous um, employer. So. Okay, so how? What have you been learning? Um, I've been learning all sorts. I've been learning how to program the machines, how to set up different jobs. I've been learning more jobs because obviously we've got more customers than the last place. So, yeah. Do you feel part of the community here? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, some of the workers here are really good, and they've been teaching us loads. So yeah, I'm very grateful for the position I'm in. Okay, and tell me one really fun thing you enjoy about working here. Uh, the crack with the lads. <laughs> <laughs> crack with the lads. That's right. brilliant. Darren, Ryan seems so happy to be working here. Yeah, the, the health and well-being of our employees is really important to us. And we identify that we need to be better than all of our competitors in order to attract the best guys onto this shop floor. And one of the reasons for that is because it's a really, really good atmosphere to work in. But also we look after our employees and part of that is a gym behind me. You've got a gym here? Certainly have, Lindsay. Oh gosh, should we go see if someone's inside? One second. 
Oh my goodness, look at this. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. What's your name, sorry? Uh, Nick Stewart. Nick, right. Nick, um, I've never seen a gym within an engineering workshop before. Do you love it? Yes. You do? What do you love about it? It's just the convenience of it on site and just finish my shift, come in, do my work out, go home, have a shower. Well, so are you using this every single day? How yeah, do you think it day. helps you with your work? Yeah, it just boosts your, your sort of metabolism, your morale. Uh, and you love it? What do you like about working at Churton? Yeah, it's just my teammates, the, the whole team, just the whole ethos and positivity about the place. It's a great place to work. Right, brilliant. Well, I'm not going to go on the treadmill right now, to be honest, even though I would love to, but it's nice and air-conditioned in here. So I'm going to go back and find out some more about the company with Darren. Thank you, Nick. Go on, go and pick up some weights and or whatever you're doing. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> They may have been working very hard in the gym, but this is where the real hard work happens in the production office. And this here is James, who's going to tell us more about uh, your lean manufacturing and your scheduling software. Yep, so this is Siki scheduling software. And so what we do is we upload all of our works orders in here um, and it allows us to for full visibility of everything that's happening. So we once a week import new orders in, it then lets us see what we've got. So, so what you're seeing there, what's, what is it that we're seeing right now? So every different colour is in different job. So on the left hand side you can see all of our machines, along the top is weeks and months. So each colour is a different job, so we can see on this particular machine, we, this job will take this long. So we've got days, some, which, some are days, hours, some run for weeks, so it allows us to see any gaps we have in production. And the thing is, if you measure, say, a cycle time of 15 minutes on a part, and then it gets reduced to 10 minutes, then that will be inputted into that, and that's then inevitably going to help you then schedule again and free up other capacity on machines. Yep, so our scheduler talks directly to the shop floor data capture on the shop floor. The guys book on and off, um, and it feeds live into here. So if a job finishes early, it will free up some capacity in here. Brilliant. One more feature on it that you like. Um, the analysis tab, so that shows us a quick view of how our jobs are doing, whether they're late, on time, how many days early, etc. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Brilliant, thanks James. Darren, you really have got some very happy staff members here. I mean, look at some of the machines as well they get to work on. These XYZ, you've got a big three meter XYZ behind us. You've got your filter mist on loads of machines. It's not, you're just investing, aren't you? You're not just investing in machines but also the well-being of people. You're looking after your staff. Thanks, Lindsay. Yeah, we do. We, we invest not only in machinery, but in software, but also in the infrastructure of the place. And it's all based around making sure that the well-being of our staff and the happiness of our staff is at the forefront of everything we do. But do you think that's the main reason why you've gone and increased your turnover so much? Uh, I think it's one of a, a many things, to be honest with you, Lindsay. I think it's the, the investment that we've had from our owners, the Cars Group, has been massive in all this. The support of the staff and everyone employed within the business has been a massive part of it. And the enthusiasm of everyone to take change. And as you know, change never goes down really well in any business. And the staff in here have been fantastic. You know what, I can tell that by being here today, people have been willing to come on camera with us. We've had a laugh. He's even bought us a nice ham sandwich for our lunch. So. Darren, it has been an absolute pleasure to have you here on Swarf and Chips, so thank you. Not a problem, Lindsay. You're always welcome. There you go. Churton Engineering up north in North Shields. Thank you for watching this week's Swarf and Chips. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And as we always say, keep those spindles turning.